Hello, today we will continue with our review of cardiology. Let us review the pattern of dental caries. Before we do that, remember the enamel rods and the dentinal tubules in your oral histology. The enamel rods, which are the basic unit of the enamel structure, run perpendicularly from the surface of the tooth to the dentine. When we do our tooth preparation in operative dentistry, we always follow the direction of the enamel rods and dentinal tubules. The mineralization of enamel by caries generally follows the direction of the enamel rods. So, yung, yung normal structure plus the abnormal structure, the pattern of dental decay, follows the direction of the enamel rods. The structure of dentine is an arrangement of microscopic channels called dentinal tubules, which radiate outward from the pulp chamber to the exterior cementum or enamel border. So here, we will look at the pattern of dental caries. Remember the triangles of decay. In pit and fissure cavities, in the enamel, it starts small on the outside and it gets wider near the dentine area. But in the dentine, it's wider in the DEJ area and gets smaller towards the pulp. Again, in the enamel, the pattern is cone-shaped with the apex or the smallest area at the external opening. So, pag tinignan mo siya sa actual patient, mukhang maliit lang. It looks small. But when you start the tooth prep, it's large inside. So, it's very important for you to explain to the patient. Before you start the procedure, that it is already large inside. Okay? Para hindi ka niya sisisin, sabi niya, ay yung dentist, maliit lang yung sira ng ngipin ko, tapos nung ginalaw niya, nilakihan niya, sinira lang niya yung ngipin ko. No. Okay? Because that is a pattern of dental decay. So, you have to explain to the patient so that uh, he is educated. Okay? So, when we talk about the relationship of decay in pit and fissure caries, your answer should be base to base. Why base to base? Base of the triangle in the enamel, sorry, to base of the triangle in the dentine. Again, base of the triangle in the enamel to base of the triangle in the dentine. So, if I ask you, what is the relationship of decay? In pit and fissure cavities or caries, your answer will be base to base. Next, we go to smooth surface caries. The different triangular patterns between pit and fissure and smooth surface caries develop in the enamel because the orientation of enamel rods are different in the two areas of the tooth. When you say two areas, you have the pit and fissure cavities and you have the smooth surface cavities. So here you can see in smooth surface caries, in the enamel, it's wider on the outside and it gets smaller towards the DEJ. So dentine, it's still the same whether pit and fissure caries or smooth surface caries. Lagging, it's always wide on the DEJ area and it gets smaller towards the pulp. So if I ask you again in the quiz, what is the relationship? of decay in smooth surface caries. The answer would be apex to base. Why apex to base? Apex of the triangle in the enamel to base of the triangle in the dentine. Again, apex of the triangle in the enamel to base of the triangle in the dentine. The description will always start from the enamel to the dentine. Hindi mo pwede sabihin, ay doc, the, and the relationship is base to apex. Base of the triangle in the dentine to apex of the triangle in the enamel. No, we always describe 
the relationship starting from the enamel. Okay? Next, we go to GV Black's classification. Remember GV Black? Green Vardiman Black, the father of operative dentistry. He did five classification of caries. Class 1 refers to pit and fissure cavities. So where can we find pit and fissure cavities? So fissure, pag ganyan mahaba, it's long. Okay, fissure. So you can find fissures on occlusal surface of posterior teeth, molars, premolars. We can also find class 1 cavities on palatal surface or lingual surface of maxillary posterior teeth. We can also find class 1 caries on buccal surface of mandibular posterior teeth. Specifically the molar, mandibular molar. So buccal pit caries. So the question is, can we find class 1 caries in anterior teeth? Pit and fissure? Are there pit and fissures in anterior teeth? Yes. You can have pit caries on lateral incisors. Very common in maxillary lateral incisors. Okay, sometimes on the maxillary central incisors also. Next. Class 2 cavities are cavities on the proximal surface of posterior teeth, specifically premolars and molars, whether maxillary or mandibular, as long as it's on the proximal area. So, Doc, ano yan kung meron siyang occlusal, occlusal caries and then meron pang proximal caries? Class 1, class 2 on one tooth. So, we will take the more complex classification. So, in this case, Class 2, ano ba to? Class 2, M, A, D, O, D, O. Yun na yan. What is D, O? Disto, occlusal. Okay? So, any cavities on the proximal of posterior teeth will be classified as class 2 whether michal or distal. Next, class 3. Class 3 are cavities found on the proximal surface of incisors and canines, so anterior teeth, that do not involve the incisal angle. It should not involve the incisal angle. Okay. Proximal of anterior teeth, that do not involve the incisal angle. So here you can see cavitation. On the right picture. But on the lateral incisor, you can see a gray shadow. So that means inside, there's already uh, caries. Then we go to class 4. Class 4 are cavities on the proximal surfaces of anterior teeth that involve the incisal angle. Take note. The cavity should start on the proximal. Tapos nag-extend lang to the incisal angle. If the cavity started on the incisal edge, going to the incisal angle, then that's not class 4. The cavity should start on the proximal surface involving the incisal angle. Then we go to class 5. Class 5 cavities are cavities on the gingival third of the facial and lingual surfaces of all teeth. However, this should not include the pit and fissure. So, class 5, gingival third area, facial and lingual surfaces of all teeth. Okay, so, for example, for example, hmm, let's see. A patient came to you with caries on tooth number 16, Michal, 
gingival third area. What is the classification? Again, a patient came to you with caries on tooth number 16, Michel, gingival third area. What is the classification? Comment down your answers with your name, with your surname, and your answer. It's okay to make mistakes. And we go to class 6. This was only added to GB Black's classification. So cavities on the incisal edge, edges or cusps of all teeth due to attrition, abrasion, or erosion. Okay, so here, cusp tip. Or incisal edge. So why do we need to restore these these cavities? Diba? Enamel is the hardest substance in your body. Once the dentin is exposed, it becomes cupped out. The appearance is cupped out. Na uuka na siya. So the the cavity would progress inside, and we don't want that. It would cause sensitivity. It would cause decay. So, first classification was GB Black's classification. Next classification is based on the location of caries. Location meaning uh, whether the caries is primary caries or secondary caries. Primary caries is the original caries lesion of the tooth. Original, that means hindi pa napastahan. You have not started any tooth preparation. There was no previous restoration. Primary caries is the original caries lesion. Example, ayan, you have black lines, you have cavities, no restoration yet. On the pit and fissures, on smooth surfaces, and on the root surfaces. Okay. Take note that you can only get root surface caries if, if the root is already exposed in the mouth. Usually, very common in older population or geriatric patients. G-E-R-I-A-T-R-I-C. Geriatric patients. Kasi nagkakaroon na ng periodontal disease and the roots are being exposed. Okay, then poor oral hygiene. Kaya nagkaroon ng cavities. So primary caries, original caries lesion. When you talk about secondary caries, it occurs at the junction of the restoration around your pasta, around your restoration. So, primary cause is micro-leakage. Okay, especially if you're using composite resin. Okay, composite resins shrink. All composite resins shrink. It just depends on the quality of your composite resin material. And sometimes uh, your technique, sometimes the edges of your restoration are rough. And it uh, causes plaque retention, plaque accumulation in that area. Diba? But the primary cause of secondary caries is microleakage. As a review, we have GV Black's classification, class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and class 6. Any classification, any description, that is not described in class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, will be classified as class 1. Again, if the description is not in class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GB Black, that will be classified under class 1. Second classification is the location of caries, whether it's primary caries, the original caries, or secondary caries, or recurrent caries, yung meron ng restoration. Meron ng restoration. Tapos na sira ulit. Okay. Then we will go to the classification by the number of surfaces involved. Let us continue to the next video.